Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and for today's video, I'm here to talk about Love and Leashes. It's a new Korean film that just landed on Netflix and it intrigued me so much as soon as I saw it on my queue. Simply because Asian mainstream media and Western mainstream media has very different takes on how they portray sexual relationships and sexual themes. Um, on screen, especially in the rom-com genre. Like in Western media, sexual themes, sexual relationships, it's quite evident in rom-coms or in teen dramas and stuff like that. Whereas for Asian media, it's, it's treated quite differently. Like there's a whole niche for just adult themed dramas and films. And then at the same time, if it's a rom-com, it's like a separate niche from your usual rom-com where everything is just kind of like clean and steering clear from those entire themes if you get what i mean so i was kind of curious especially since this is a notch higher than that and it doesn't just talk about sexual themes or sexual relationships but also taps into the bdsm lifestyle or the bdsm community in general so again there's definitely a lot of like curiosity as to how they're gonna tackle this especially since they're selling it out as a rom-com as compared to like a serious adult type of film so that's why i was really really interested and then a couple of days after it started streaming on netflix i saw a lot of positive comments about the film so i was like okay cool let's check it out one of the biggest or most mainstream depictions of bdsm in media today is 50 shades of gray and even that wasn't really received well by those who actually practice the bdsm lifestyle in real life one of the biggest foundations of the bdsm community Community, lifestyle and relationship wasn't portrayed really well in that film and that is showing the importance of consent now I was pretty curious how this is gonna translate for this particular film again I don't know much about that lifestyle or that community to be able to fully explain um, or to fully understand and grasp if this film is actually really really good in the way that they presented that aspect but for me there are standout themes in this particular film that made me want to talk about it in today's video with that said let's just get to it <laughs> Let's start off with the plot of the film. So this is about um, Jung Ji Hoo, who is a new transfer to the PR department of this company that he was working in. Now he there he encounters Jung Ji Woo, who is a female lead, and their personalities are quite different, even if their names are kind of similar. So for the intents and purposes of this video, I'm just gonna refer to them as the male and the female lead to not really push out any confusion or anything like that but basically they meet their personalities are quite different in a way that the male lead is a lot more personable he's definitely perfect in a sense as to how they describe him um like by the other other characters simply because he knows how to communicate really well he presents himself really well and he seems like just a generally likable guy whereas the female lead is portrayed as someone who's stuck up or someone who's really cold, who voices out her opinions, which is completely fine, um, apart from the fact that other characters in the film, especially some of the male characters in the film, is treating her as if that side of her personality is an, um, is is horrible is really bad so even in the first couple of scenes we see this difference in dynamics and the way that they're trying to portray um abuse of power especially when it comes to gender inequality and later on into the film when we talk more about power that is um that is openly accepted because of consent so but we're going to be talking more about that later but let's just focus more on that initial dynamic that they have so initially the male lead immediately calls out the, the manager of the department that he's in simply because the manager antagonizes the female lead constantly just for voicing out her opinions on so very valid matters about what they're doing in their job now even then that's why the female lead um, immediately 
sparks an interest over Somalia simply simply because other people that she's work she's she's working with it's kind of like treating her very differently just because of her more straightforward personality now through a twist of events um given that their names are sounding very similar um the female lead accidentally accepts a package that was supposedly for the male lead and she discovers that he is into bdsm now it was kind of like a nice back and forth between the two of them whereas the female lead wasn't really judgy at all but the male lead obviously with that kind of secret he was kind of like confused as to what's going to happen whether or not the female lead was disgusted by that side of his but the side of him and that maybe she's having very different thoughts about you know who he actually is because of that side of his life that he's not making public and stuff like that but then for the female leads and she was just trying to understand what it is and just accepting that this is a part of the male lead and that she was pretty understanding about the entire thing and she actually wanted to give him space so that things wouldn't be awkward between the two of them now because of that certain development as to them trying to understand each other and just trying to you know communicate to one another their feelings about the entire situation they ended up like the male lead ended up asking the female lead if she wants to be his master or the dominant in their relationship now it's quite interesting because um there's definitely a level of curiosity as well for the female lead as to how it works and stuff like that and so we kind of learned through the basics of this lifestyle and these types of relationships through her lens she's trying to learn what it means to be a good dominant to your submissive and all of these kinds of things um and they're doing a pretty good job in terms of their dynamic and everything again puts emphasis on the importance of consent when it comes to these types of relationships it for a film that is initially like just looking at the synopsis it feels like it's being marketed as something with heavy sexual tones and and sexual themes this film doesn't really have any awkward sexual scenes at all and i can officially say that this is something that you can watch with like your parents or grandparents in the room and it wouldn't be awkward because even the scenes where they were like doing their plays um is very like treated very treated very nicely again and it's not just put out there to make a film intriguing or what do you say or something that's that's um i don't know the heavily sexually charged just to get interest from the viewers but it's actually very treated well in a way at least in my opinion for someone who only is learning about all these things through this film but i feel like the scenes where the stuff is happening you know it, it's it's treated very nicely same time again it also contrasts you know different stigmas um it also covers different stigmas and addresses them when it comes to people who practice this kind of lifestyle and why they can't openly talk about it and other people's um interpretations of their lifestyle whenever they learn about it like for example for the male lead um his ex-girlfriend dumped him when she found out that he was into these kinds of things simply because she thinks that he's troubled for wanting these kinds of things or anything like that which is usually portrayed in other forms of media as well whenever they talk about the bdsm lifestyle like people couldn't accept that he's just into these kind of things just because and it doesn't necessarily have to have a dark background for him to be into these kinds of things so it's kind of like abolishing these types of stigmas um and just portraying that these are people who just have very very different preferences but at the same time these preferences are also again very consensual for both parties involved um and again yeah there's definitely a huge emphasis on the importance of consent and at the same time like the power play between how it's very different misogynistic take on like a power play in the office like how it's happening versus this one where again the power dynamic is really really healthy because both parties agree on what they can and not 
um, they can and cannot do. The thing that I like is again they also tried to tap into the idea that people have the stigma that just because someone is into this kind of lifestyle then therefore anything goes and again I think that's what generally most people um, most people think of it as where again this film emphasizes that it's not just as easy as you know getting whipped or anything like that it's not just like that at all and not everything goes because again this kind of lifestyle follows a certain set of rules and those rules are meant to be followed and respected by both parties and it's not just this thing that people use as an excuse to to put out certain tendencies or anything like that, which I think is really, really nice. Of course, it's a film, so there are some parts where I feel like could have been fleshed out better. Like for example, for for the female lead's um, friend. So that's where I kind of learned that she was also into that kind of lifestyle and they had to save her because um, the person who claims to was also kind of into the same thing was just there for I don't know, just testing out of waters and thinking that he can get away with whatever he wants to do with her just because she was into this lifestyle. So again, there's that um, there's that differentiation of consensual of a consensual relationship versus something that's not. Um, and I wish they could have tapped more into those kinds of like mini themes, if you will. There's also the treatment that when they were exposed for what they were doing, um, the female lead was being reprimanded more and she was being treated a lot more rudely than the male lead, even if the male lead was the one who initiated the relationship in the first place. Um, and it kind of like sets a tone that she's being degraded more for being into this kind of lifestyle as compared to the male lead because of certain gender expectations and gender stereotypes. So they kind of covered those themes quite well, I think, for the film's duration. Again, I feel like they could have made it into a mini series just so a lot of the other arcs could have been explored a lot better. Like, for example, the relationship of the male lead with, with his ex-girlfriend who keeps popping into her life, even if she says that she wants nothing to do with him. So they, I feel like they could have tapped more into that. I learned from someone I talked to about this film that apparently this is a webtoon and not everything obviously is put into the film for for the duration's sake. But I think for me who didn't know that it, it had the reference material, it delivered the story quite well. There are certain things that I feel like could have been fleshed out better, but again, in terms of the bigger arc of it, then it's fine. Um, and yeah, I guess the biggest point for me is that I didn't expect that I would like it as much as I did and I didn't expect that it would have these kinds of, of certain very interesting discussions about this kind of lifestyle without it necessarily just putting it out there for the sake of intrigue or just being salacious and saucy. Um, but it actually is a very easy and nice watch and I actually really recommend this film. Um, and again, you don't necessarily have to to like be overly cautious about it especially given the theme like understand how you can be very cautious about you know clicking on it because again the theme is bdsm there's a lot of sexual connotations um but yeah but it's definitely not that kind of film at all and it's it's actually a pretty nice watch so yeah with that said so tell me down in comments below have you seen this film or your thoughts on it or planning to see it etc etc um let's talk it out down in the comments as we usually do if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me please hit subscribe thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon in a new one.